Got me wondering, baby. What's a good man supposed to do? Hey, hey. It's it's fun. Uh, <laughs> it's fun bringing you know Kevin's here all week. It's fun having him here in Grand Rapids because you'll you'll play anywhere. I mean, we'll be at a restaurant. He'll pick up a guitar and start playing and. Well, you know, it's obvious you love what you do. Well, it's 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 one of those things where everybody, it's my belief, you know, everybody wants music in their in their life. You know, it's just that for whatever reason they decide, I don't have time for this, I don't have time for that, I don't want to look for this, and they they go with what's given to them most of the time. But when they get an opportunity to be exposed to something that's different and new, if they take the chance. To, to, to allow themselves to be exposed to it, they enjoy themselves. And they find out that, you know, you know I, I always tell kids to enjoy the buffet. You know, you go into a buffet and there's some everything. And there's always something that you've never had before. And because it's a buffet, it's safe to try that this time. Because if I don't like it, I can put it away. I don't have to eat it. It's on a buffet. I can go get something else. You know, and... You know, music is a lot like that. You know, there's a lot of folks that go, I don't like blues music. I don't like country music. I don't like heavy metal. I don't like this. I don't like that. But what that means is, is they haven't sampled enough of it to really have, an, have had a, a real exposure. You know, two rap artists doesn't cover rap music. Two blues artists or one blues experience, and, and, and it was like your uncle's cousin's Garage band does not define what blues is. It was a bad experience, you know? It was a bad experience one time, you know? So the opportunity to expose yourself to folks that, as a profession, you know, provide entertainment, not just music, provide entertainment on a regular basis you know, in a, in, in, in a lot of areas, not just, you know, not just here, but in a lot of areas, is a new concept. You know, it's a new opportunity for exposure. And <clears throat> that's what these opportunities are for me, you know. You get somewhere that doesn't usually do live music, and you convince them to try it. And it's a different experience. Now, they're open to the idea of entertainment at their establishment. You know, because they get to see the faces of the people that are in the room right now. You know, you may create something new, you may slam a door in your face, but at least you got them to try it. You know, and that's the goal. You well, know? I, I saw you at the, uh, <clears throat> at the school turning a lot of kids around. On what, I mean, you could see in their faces, like you'd start playing or singing or whatever. And then, you know, they're, wow. This is blues, or you know, they had no idea. It's, it's like I said, it's getting people to try something that's outside of that. You know, what was it I saw somebody do? You know, people are used to things being either left bottom or right top, and if they bring it together, it, it boxes them in. You know, people are used to being in that little box. You know, so if you can get that, you know, put away, break it apart, flip it around a little bit. It opens you up to trying some new things, and um, you know, in a in a, in an area like this, there's not a lot of folks just coming with new, you know. So, I just I, I appreciate the opportunity. The community's been way receptive, way open to <laughs> there's allowing, a reason I'm here, you know, <laughs> to allowing to allow me to give this up, you know, to to have this opportunity. Yeah, you know, in my world, this is this is a blessing. You know, this is this is really some of the coolest stuff that I can be allowed to do, because honestly, no one has to say okay. You know, I'm very appreciative of the opportunity. Tell me a little bit about <clears throat> about the program we're talking about your your blues in the schools program, because there's several of them out there. Yeah, well, you know, a lot of times people do this just strictly from a perspective of information, and uh, you know, this is. You know, this is how this is. This is, you know, this is the framework of the blues. This is the technical end of stuff. And, you know, it's my, you know, based on the research that I've done and the things that I've, I've been exposed to, my belief is, is that, you know, when you talk about blues, really what you're talking about is just American music. 
You know, there's just no way around it. Everything that is music in America is inherently connected to blues because blues didn't exist until it was here, till it existed here. And so because it's the only art form, the only musical art form that we can say is, is American, the things that have become popular and have defined style and cool have all grown from blues, in my opinion, based on the research that I've done. You know, I'm not saying everything that I'm saying is the truth, but I get to challenge everybody to prove me to be a liar. You know, and <clears throat> you know, nobody's you know throwing a rock at me or or you know done anything ugly saying, ah, oh, you, you're telling me the wrong thing. So far, you know, knock wood. It's, you know, it's going all right. But I'm, you know, I believe that you know, over time, based on geographic area, you know, blues music has evolved from its simplest forms to you know moving from you know uh, you know the the free form Delta blues style bouncing over into Texas where it became more of a, a framed uh, almost uh, almost patterned style you know to Memphis where folks like WC Handy included horns and different things to the Carolinas where it took on the traits of bluegrass music, you know, uh, the Piedmont style blues to places like Chicago where, and it was Chicago and Texas, actually Texas before Chicago where it was electrified, where people, you know, started to plug in their instruments and, 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 and share that with the world, you know. Um, and reminding people of, you know, we have a certain amount of music that we look at and we say, well, this is classic rock. A lot of those classic rocks, rock songs are traditional blues songs. And if this is classic rock because Led Zeppelin did it, then what is this because Blind Lemon Jefferson did it 50 years before Led Zeppelin existed, mm -hmm. you know? if not just the roots of it. And so to, to be able to make a connection from then till now with kids and tie it together makes them, makes you know everybody have to take a step back and realize that our musical history you know, is, 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 is pretty rich and something that we all get to take pride in. You know, it's not just an African-American thing, it's an American thing. You know, there's too many things that are already fragmented and seg you know, segregated and all of those kinds of things. And, you know, yeah, it, it's, a, it's an African-American, it's a black art form, you know, but it wouldn't exist without European influence, in my opinion. Again, based on my research, you know, things that I've looked at. Prove them wrong if you can. Prove me wrong if you can. <laughs> you know, I wasn't there. Right. You know, so all I can do is form an opinion, you know, and I share it. And I share it with confidence because it's what I believe, you know, and it's how I conduct myself. You know, you go from region to region and you find defining sounds, you know, and I get told by a lot of folks, well, you don't sound a lot like a blues guy, you know, but it's not I about the same thing. It's not about sound. You know, blues is an emotion. It's an emotional exchange. It has nothing to do with, you know, what you hear it has everything to do with what you feel. And so if I sing you happy birthday, I want you to really, really believe I want you to have a happy birthday. I want you to feel happy birthday. I want you to feel it. That makes it blues. I don't, you know, just hearing it to me is pleasant. Feeling it heals. You know, and blues, is, that, that's the intent of blues, is to, is to heal, in my opinion. Let's get another song while we're on the subject of feeling and healing. All right. What well, are you going to give us next? <clears throat> Let's see. I can, uh, I'll beat up on, this is, this is one of my wife's favorite songs. This is a song called Real Love. I gotta kinda go at it. I've been wearing this thing to play harmonica. I haven't done that yet, so let me, let me get that at you. But this song's called Real Love. Hope that you like it. See when you 
you think about it, babe. It's been a long, long time searching for love like you found in me. You kept asking for it, praying for it, hoping for it. And when you found it, baby, you wouldn't open up your eyes so you could see. I was right here, my dear. I'm ready to give you more. And still, I have so much in store, honey. You never needed enough. Baby, open up your eyes and be glad we found each other in a real love. Hey, hey. So the real love is the kind of love that we should hold on to. It's a real love, baby. Oh, it's the kind of love I want to share with nobody else but you. And when I think about it, baby. It's been a long, long time searching for a love like I found in you. I kept asking for it, praying for it, hoping for it. And when I found it, baby, I wasn't sure what it was that I was supposed to do. But now I'm older now, wiser now. I understand some way, somehow. I need to keep you, baby, here in my life. I, I never needed another. I finally understand why there is no need to look no further for a real love, baby. So the real love, yeah. the kind of love that we should hold on to is a real love, baby. Oh, it's the kind of love I want to share with nobody else but you. But that question we both know we need to ask ourselves For either one of us should go on any further Or we dream about a future Stuck living in the past Baby, these are the questions both of us know We're afraid to ask and I just know Honey, I don't want no other And I'm so glad, child We finally found each other And a real love, baby I said a real love, baby the kind of love that we should hold on to is a real love, baby. Oh, it's the kind of love I want to share with nobody else but you. I say, and I say, yo, someday, yo, mama, do I, yo, Don't look any further, further. I say it's strange when you think of the chance that we both be in the state of mind to be careless. We're looking for the right thing, oh, baby. Well, don't you look no further. I say, day oh, I say, day oh, Mama G, I oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, don't you look no further. I say, day oh, I say, day oh, Yum, yo, yum, my yo, oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, Kevin Burt. Thank you very much. It's weird without having applause because every... <laughs> <laughs> we got kids to teach, so we kind of we kind of got to go. Well, well, let me remind the folks at home that Kevin, who's I don't know when you're going to be watching this, but he's here all week doing the Blues in the Schools program. We want to get you back again next year to do that, and you're going to be at the Blues Fest this year with your own tent. Yeah, this year at the Blues Festival, um, working hard to put together a, a, a blues education stage so that uh, there's in addition to all of the things cool that are going to be, that people get an opportunity to be exposed to, all the different artists, all the different styles of blues, that for folks that are interested and have that curiosity, they can come and just learn a little bit more, you know, and hopefully develop not just an appreciation for the blues music, but for the buffet, for all of it, you know, because that's, that's, that's the goal, you know, to enjoy it. You know, that's all. Thank you, man. 
Thank you. Now I'm going to go eat at a buffet because you made me hungry. Sweet. <laughs>